Hello Internet. I am doing the next in the series of F sharp exercises on the website exorcism.io. Um, you can see I've already started running tests which are failing. Good. Um, this next one is called Isogram. It explains that an isogram is a word that doesn't have a pattern. Basically, if a word does not repeat any um, any letters, it is an isogram. If it does repeat letters, it is not. So here we can see a few examples of isograms. They have no repeating letters. The word isograms has two S's and is therefore not an isogram. My tests are failing, so I'm going to have a look at the first one. Um, if isogram of empty string should equal true. So what we do is we return true. That should satisfy the test. Awesome. I like opening my tests on the side. Okay, uh, isogram with only lowercase, but it also wants a true. So this should just pass. Great. Uh, next one wants a false, which means it's probably. What did I do? Oh, I have a very. I, I bump keys very easily. I've done it again because that was my previous. Okay, run task test. There we go. Sorry about that. It fails. I thought it would, um, because now we actually have to start doing something. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that. That's a, we assume that's a string, but I'm going to assume it's a character array. Um, I'm going to pipe it into sec group, group by. And just quickly group it by itself. Might be able to be refactored into ID. I wonder if that's a Okay, if that works, it seems to just be a um, F sharp shortcut for group by yourself. Don't need the brackets then. Um, now, what I want to do is I want to see, okay, now which of these groups has multiple um, what do we call this? A le multiple length. So the group is a, a tuple, your group by item, which I don't need, so I'm going to use the underscore, and my actual item. I want to see the length of the actual item, so that is sec.length, and I want to make sure that that length is always just one. 
that needs to be wrapped up maybe. Um, maybe that should be wrapped up too. I'll see what it says just now. Then, where, if, no, I just want the length here, because we've got the where here. So where any of those x's is greater than 1, um, we want to carry that on. And we want to get the length of the result. Sorry, I see what I'm doing wrong. We should be piping the string through all of this. just do this and then I'm going to use an inline function to say x is equal to 0 because if x is equal to 0 it means we've got no duplicates so this is saying okay go group by yourself then what are your length of your groups? If any length is greater than zero, we know we've got a duplicate. And what's the length of our duplicates? And one is true. I don't like all the warnings, so I'm going to just for a bit say explicitly give me that. Why is it not happy with this? Okay, but if that's a string, that's a character. That's a character sequence. Oh, I see. That shouldn't be there. ID. Didn't know about that. That's very cool. You must remember that. Can we take that away? No. But I suppose it's nice to, to keep that inline function just like that. Okay, let's see what happens there. I do wish these tests would run faster. Okay, I am passing. Yay me. This should fail, but I don't see too much change, so... This test should still pass from what I guess. does okay this one I'm not sure about okay now this I think should still pass this next one I think might give a problem because we have a capital A and a small a so it should return false, but I have a feeling our code is going to return true. Ah, 
I forgot to remove the skip. Okay, it fails like I thought it sh would. So let us first just make everything upper. Sec map uh, char We have maybe we must open system. Is it in system dot char dot to upper uh, let's make it upper invariant and let's open system That passes, yay! This one I think should still pass. My window appears to have frozen. I don't like that. Um, Okay, I got a dialog saying, do I want to reopen? I said yes. Okay, we seem to be back. Let's run that test. Okay, it does pass. Next test. Should equal true. I've got a feeling it will still be okay because we've only got one dash in there. Um, if you look a little further down, there comes a point where we've got two dashes that should result in a true, but I think we're going to get a false there. But for the spirit of being complete, I am going to do this. Uh, something must be wrong here. I'm going to ignore these squigglies because the actual .NET is running. Um, seem to have some VS code issues. You can always try a different editor. I like VS code. I like Visual Studio too. This test I think is going to fail because it has two dashes in it. We're going to see that as a duplicate and we are going to return a false. So, what we can start with is sec where char dot is letter. 
that's going to filter out those dashes and they're not going to be counted. Awesome. Uh, this should still pass because we should be filtering out any spaces as well. Uh, you see we've got some spaces here so we should filter that out and just count the letters. Great. Now, the last two tests is just checking Angola 2 A's, Ancestor 2 C's. Um, so, I'm going to remove both of them because I'm fairly confident that my test, my code is going to, to work on those tests. Awesome. 13 tests, 13 passed. None skipped. This is my... Oh, what am I doing? Dragging files around. Um, that is my, my solution. I am going to upload it and I am going to check to see what other people have done. I will link to my solution in the comments. Um, if you have watched this, thank you. Please tell me what you think. Tell me if you think I should wrap those in brackets for the sake of um, keeping it the same as that or if you think I should unbracket that or if you think I should make that a function on its own that gets called um, whether that's through a let over here or a completely outside function how would you do this cool thanks a lot cheers